Right then, folks. <clears throat> Bloody a lot of homebrew last night. Really, really uh, hit that good. Talking to ALW Exploration. Check his channel out, folks. Be in the description. Um, about the next explore. And then I started talking to Chris. So, yeah. Proper heavy night. Ugh. Five hours, something like that. Session. Still got some beer left in there. But forget about that now. That's done. So remember I've done this trading with this company, um, MPB or something. Um, so I've traded in some more Camry gear and got new Camry gear. So I've, for years and years and years, I've used the Canon 77D, the one I'm recording on here. But I've wanted something a bit smaller. This is quite a chunky camera. Quite a big one. So I want to say a little bit smaller than this camera. So I traded in some gear. I think I traded in the DJI Phantom Drone Professional. Um, what else was there? Oh, I can't remember some other bits. But yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what I've got, folks. Right. So I got the Canon EOS M6 Mark II. I thought I'd go for something a little smaller, a little tiny thing, and got something in here, MPB, yeah, that's what it's all about, folks. And then, it's in here. It's always going to pack it, it's really, it really pack it well. I you know, like I say, if you, you get, get a quote on your gear, you send it off for free, uh, no, no payment required. Um, and then they check the equipment, and if you uh, if they have to change the quote in any way, rise they can rise it and they can lower it. If you know, obviously you don't like that or or what have you, you they send it back to you free of charge. I think that's amazing, really is amazing. Oh, that's good. Right, what have I got in here? So I've got this baby lens. Basically, this is the. 11 to 22 image stabilizer. This is for the Canon M type, basically, for the EOS M6. So that is basically replacing that camera. This camera here is going to stay in here. It's going to be all, this camera is going to be just all production stuff for here. So that's easier just to do that. Right. The next part of this video, folks. Last week, it was, yes, last week, around oh, just over a week now, went to uh, Cheddar Gorge, went to this location, uh, Somerset. Uh, it's all caves and it's like, you know, it's really sort of, it's, it's an eye opener, I'll give you that. Full of tourists, a bit unfortunate, but that's what you get when you go to public sort of places. So, yeah, we're going to get onto a video about that at some point. Me and Chris are going to discuss all the places we went to in Somerset on our holiday. So, yeah. So basically what I got in Cheddar Gorge. Some uh, cheddar. This was actually stored in the in the caves. And um, only cheddar. The only cheddar made in cheddar. Basically it's, it's, it's been in the caves and it's matured in the caves. How amazing is that? So what we're going to do today, I'm going to do a taste test of this. I'm going to make a cheese sandwich. I'm going to use some of this cheese. And um, I'm going to tell you how it tastes. This stuff was matured in a cave. How crazy can that get? So let's do that now. Right then, folks, how are we doing? Uh, welcome to the kitchen. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the cheese. Made in them caves, folks. If it will focus. There it is proper stamp of approval on that so uh, yeah we're going to basically make a cheese toasty um, and then go back to the bunker and uh, do a taste test on it folks so let's go butter up the old bread you've seen me do cheese sandwiches before but this one's special because it's from the gorge cheddar gorge matured in them caves folks a body was found in them caves, 
skeleton uh, and they estimate it to be over 9,000 years old. Uh, but I did read up that the skeleton that's there on display. Oh, beer there in that folks, don't want that in there, do we? The one that's on display in the caves, the skeleton there, is not a real skeleton. It's just basically a copy of the real one. The real skeleton is apparently in London. So there's your facts for you folks. I don't even know if they said that in the, because they do an audio tour. Uh, I don't know if they said that on the audio tour. Is that okay? Switch it on. No, that's that one. Hmm, toothpaste. Proper well sealed, as you can see. I'll have to cut that with some scissors. There we are, folks. Right, let's get a knife. Just choose this knife. And what I'm going to do is just going to cut just down there like that so we can get a nice we can well maybe not length yeah do you eat the bottom bit I don't know do you cut that off I'll cut that off I'm not sure on that I'm not I'm not really an eater of moldy cheeses folks so I have that And we'll do another slice. Cut that. Cut Very hungry, folks, after that homebrew last night. Right, let's chuck that on there. Cheese. Cave cheese from the gorge itself, folks. How amazing. That cheese is there. We chuck the butter down and then butter up. Then we close it. Watch your fingers. Down slightly. And we'll just let that go. And while we wait for the cheese toasty to finish, folks, we go. Ah! Watch your fingers. We're going to make a cup of tea. What are we looking like? Oof. Look at that, folks. What do you reckon? Sizzling hot. Nearly done. Oh god, it's melting out. Right, that'll do, folks. I think I think we're there. Oh wow, yeah, I smell it out. But look at the hat. Isn't that yummy? That mature cheddar out of the the caves in the gorge. <laughs> Try and get as much as the cheese of the cheese off as you can. Because it's a little tiny bit like that, seven quid. But, you know, I reckon it's going to be worth it. I'll cut it in half. Done. <clears throat> Leave that open. Tea. More cheese. Right, so that's it folks. We'll see you in a bit. Back to the bunker. Got a cup of tea. Oh, and we have the cheese on toast. The, the cheese from Cheddar Gorge. So let's give it a taste test without the ketchup first. Let's give it a go. I mean, it's not too strong, actually. It's just right. 
I was expecting there to be a really strong taste of cheese, but it's quite mild. Mmm. I like that. It's a bit of a shame because, you know, they're 200 odd miles away and, you know, it's quite hard to get hold of. Uh, if you lived at Cheddar, Cheddar Gorge, I think uh, you'd be quite, you know, well off. Yeah, that's good. A bit of ketchup on it. They do all different cheeses there. They've done one with tomato mixed in with it. Herbs, garlic and stuff like that. They've done loads of cheeses. But I wanted to get this one because it was obviously, you know, in the caves. It was it was stored in the caves, folks. Oh, someone said, I know if Chris said it, it was like you can taste not mud or something like that. It tastes beautiful, to be honest. If you ever go to Cheddar Gorge, folks, get the cave cheddar. Mmm. Tastes pretty good to me. Just a quick video, really, folks. Another one of the special bunker videos. I try and do this weekly, but obviously I've got to get the exploring videos out as well. Exploring videos are more important than these videos, but if I can do these videos, well, more videos the better, folks, huh? What do you reckon? And the homebrew videos are coming. But today, I was going to do a brew video today, but because I've got a bit of a hangover, it's not happening, folks. Not happening. Mmm, mature cheddar. Right there, thanks. Thanks very much for watching. Check out Instagram, Facebook, and all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you again soon.